The first thing many people do to fix a mask leak is tighten the headgear. But that should be an action of last resort. Over-tightened headgear leads to sore skin and often worsens the leak. Keep in mind that some degree of leak is okay. CPAP machines can compensate for some leak, but if the machine keeps alarming, it's too much. If the air is blowing into your eyes, it's definitely too much. The CPAP machine compensates for leaks with extra flow. If that added flow makes it hard to breathe, or the system gets too loud, then it's too much. But if you are comfortable and the machine is not alarming, everything can just stay as it is. No adjustments needed. That's the magic of leak compensation. Also, don't confuse a leak with exhaled airflow. Every mask has ports where exhaled air comes out. You should always feel the air escaping through those ports. The port may be on the circuit itself in addition to the mask. The first thing to try is gently pull the cushion away from your face. Leave the headgear in place and just raise the cushion slightly. Sometimes silicone gets crimped and this simple action unwrinkles it, smooths out the cushion and seals the leak. Raise it, replace it, and reevaluate. If the leak is an ongoing night after night issue, make sure that everything is sized correctly. Parts that are too small or too big will leak. You really do need it just right. Use a sizing guide to confirm that you have the right size for each component. Don't be afraid to mix and match component sizes. Maybe you need a small mask but a medium headgear. If sizing is all good, pull out the manufacturer's directions. If you've misplaced them, worry not. Rest Shop has them on the website. Following the directions precisely produces the best results. The Fisher & Paykal directions tell you to put the headgear on first, then move the cushion to the face. But ResMed's N30Eyes guide instructs you to hold the cushion to the face and then pull on the headgear. Follow the directions of your mask to the letter and see if that jump starts your fit each night. Look for insider hints in the directions. The AirFit N30Eyes guide suggests tilting the frame forward and backwards depending on the leak location. The Brevita nasal pillow directions suggest that you make sure the pillow tip is not gotten inverted. If sizing is close but just not quite perfect, mask liners can help. Occasional mouth breathers who want to stick with the nasal mask can consider a chin strap. For a mask that has been fitting just fine, but now is not, be sure you are replacing the headgear and cushion on a regular basis. Headgear stretches out and the cushions break down. Also, clean your mask daily and wash your face before use. Dirt, oil, and makeup get in the way of a good seal. So there you go. Lots more to try before tugging tightly on those headgear straps.